the United States is making the controversial move of sending Ukraine cluster munitions for its counteroffensive against occupying Russian forces. White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan defended the decision announced on Friday. We recognize that cluster munitions create a risk of civilian harm from unexploded ordnance. This is why we've the defer deferred the decision for as long as we could. But there is also a massive risk of civilian harm if Russian troops and tanks roll over Ukrainian positions and take more Ukrainian territory and subjugate more Ukrainian civilians because Ukraine does not have enough artillery. Cluster munitions are widely banned around the world. They typically release large numbers of smaller bomblets that can kill indiscriminately over a large area. Those that fail to explode pose a danger for decades after a conflict ends. Rights groups and the United Nations Secretary General questioned Washington's decision on the munitions. Ukraine has asked for the weapon and said the move would have, quote, an extraordinary psycho-emotional impact on Russian forces. According to the White House, the country has provided written assurances for the careful use of the weapon to minimize risk to civilians. Ukraine is committed to post-conflict demining efforts to mitigate any potential harm to civilians. And this will be necessary regardless of whether the United States provides these munitions or not because of Russia's widespread use of cluster munitions. It's part of an $800 million security package that brings the total U.S. military aid to Ukraine to more than $40 billion since Russia invaded the country in February 2022. Russian President Vladimir Putin, who claims the conflict aims to protect Russian security, has accused the U.S. and its allies of fighting an expanding proxy war.